target 6C of the world's Millennium Development Goals to combat malaria and other major diseases has been partially achieved. According to a joint WHO-UNICEF report presented on the 16th of September in Geneva, the achievement has been met amid a sharp drop in cases and mortality. There has been a 37% decrease in malaria death rates um, in malaria cases over the last uh, 15 years and that uh, mortality has fallen by 60% among all age groups. And this has resulted in um, an estimate of 6.2 million lives saved over the last 15 years. According to the report, 262 million cases of malaria per year in the year 2000 went down to 214 million cases in 2015. Deaths due to malaria have reduced from 839,000 in the year 2000 to 438,000 in 2015. Children under five account for more than two-thirds of all deaths associated with malaria. Between the year 2000 and 2015, the under five malaria death rate fell by 65 percent. This is indeed a great public health success story and it is especially a huge success for children. We've heard that some 6.2 million lives have been saved from malaria over the past 15 years. 6.2 million and the vast majority, about 6 million of these were in children under the age of 5. Despite these achievements, 3 billion people still remain at risk. 15 countries, mainly in sub-Saharan Africa, account for 80% of malaria cases and 78% of deaths globally in 2015. But it's also important to point out that malaria still remains a disease of poverty and that millions of children in sub-Saharan Africa, mostly from the poorest households in remote rural areas, still do not have access to insecticide-treated nets or effective treatment. And reaching them will be critical if we want to achieve equitable and sustainable development. In May 2015, the World Health Assembly adopted the WHO Global Technical Strategy for Malaria, a new 15-year roadmap for malaria control. The strategy aims at a further 90% reduction in global malaria incidence and mortality by 2030. The report says in order to hit these targets, annual funding for malaria will need to triple from 2.7 billion US dollars to 8.7 by 2030. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.